She is not just her Fujo girlfriend. She is a co-director, not some fan who proposed the idea of Yaoi. Genuinely, I have no idea how the LGBT community in 2024 has come to this, but why are we talking shit about a gay ship just to uplift a lesbian ship? Like, didn't we forget that a while ago? Not just that, but attacking an artist who co-directs the art that you enjoy? Of course, I'm gonna give full context on another episode of I'm literally going crazy over this because this, oh my gosh, I actually love this series so much and I can't stand to see people hating on it or hating on the artist specifically over something that's so trivial. So if you're pretty interested in this sort of content, please subscribe and please follow. I do art, I do gotcha games, that sort of stuff, and let's get into it. So NNC is a web series that sort of blew up in the last year or so, last two years, and it is a animated project led by Vivinos and her girlfriend Q Meng, who is the co-director. The series spans upon music videos that have story within the animations, and they also have little comics that go within them and of course official art. I literally love these characters so much. They're so freaking cute and I totally get why people love them men because not only do they have very blatant and you know brazen personalities but what's very important within the story is their relationships. And because this is so important I'm going to just give you a spoiler warning but again I would just recommend watching the music videos if you want to. They're pretty short and they're really fun to listen to. Really good music. So there's a warning before I go into the actual story and a little bit into to the timeline of how this or how things have played out so far. So in Alien Stage there are four main characters. There's Yvonne, Till, Mizzy, and Swa. And there's other characters like Luca and Huna that are important but it has nothing to do with this discourse so I won't mention them. TLDR for what the Alien Stage is is basically where a bunch of aliens make humans who are not seen as human. They're seen as pets. They make humans sing and whoever loses the singing battle dies. Anyways, the first music video releases is called Round 1 of Alien Stage and the characters in this music video featured in the main characters are Mizzy and Swa. I don't feel like it's necessary to tell the end and I feel like it would be <laughs> it would be insane for me to tell the end especially if I don't need to, but what's important for this discourse is the fact that these two characters fell in love, Mizzy and Swa, and they're both girls. In the next music video, aka Round 2, Till is introduced as a character but it's also introduced that he has a raging crush on Mizzy. Nothing really crazy happens there, but then in the next one, Yvonne is introduced and Yvonne is shown to have an infatuation with Till. Skip round five, that round is not really important to the discourse, but round six, that one is very important because people got insanely mad that Till and Yvonne kissed and it's for all the wrong reasons, bro. I I totally understand if you dislike this kiss scene because it is literally forceful. I do get it, right? And then you can also have a respect towards the story. But no, these people are mad over the fact that it's gay. And in addition, that it's not lesbian. And we can't leave out the dented theory crafters who are literally theory crafting the relationship between the creator of Alien Stage and her girlfriend over the fact that they decided in, you know, unison to put in the gay shit. And they're hating on the co-director more because she proposed the idea of there being the gay ship. And I say that very allegedly because I don't even know if the co-director even proposed this. I'm just listening to what the haters are saying. But the reason why I'm mentioning it is that it's not even a bad thing to propose something like that. Like, it's not that serious. So I'll introduce you to the director and the co-director. The director is Vivinos and the co-director is Kumeng. They're both dating as girlfriends. Lesbian girlfriends. I feel like that's important to mention because these people are hating on a lesbian for not putting in more lesbian content. I'm like so confused. So let me show you something that I got up on my feed and <laughs> yeah, I got you guys. Even though they deleted it, I have it saved. I also want to put a warning for misinformation because most of this is not even supported by any facts. So let me read this out. Finding out that Vivinos explicitly said she didn't want there to be a kiss scene for Yvonne and Till because she was worried it would overshadow Mizzy Swa and exactly that happening at a massive scale to the point where the fan base is now overrun with people who only care about men. LOL. Now I've given you the context of what's already going on and what there is to hear about this but really there's no proof for this. They don't provide any proof and people shit on them for it because they had zero proof. They did not have any receipts for any of this and that's why this is deleted but they wouldn't let their pride go so they had to post a lot more to try and defend themselves even though they're still actively hating on the fact that Yvonne and Till exist and not just Yvonne and Till but Q Meng which we'll get on to. I will be proudly stealing this post from this person because they actually ate this up so much. 
And um, these screenshots and opinions were put together by Dash Zekaz or D-A-S-H-Z-E-K-A-Z on TikTok. So this is where the post begins, you know, showing the original post and then essentially Sarah essentially sharing my exact same sentiments. If you have such a hefty statement, you need to quote the original sentence. Don't put words into others' mouths. I'll let you keep talking for now. And so they give them a chance to keep speaking. Which you should never do, by the way, for people who have dents in their head. Kissine was proposed specifically by her Fujo girlfriend and co-director, by the way, Kyumeng. Vivianos let it happen despite her worries about the focus being taken off of Mizzy as a protagonist primarily because she thinks Kyumeng is good at depicting kissing scenes, lol, which she is, to be fair. I'd like to say that, again, Kyumeng is not just a Fujo girlfriend, she is the co-director. I think it's also important to mention the innuendos that they have by, you know, so dismissively saying something like, oh, she's a Fujo, she's a Fujo girlfriend, is because, like, it's just so talked down upon, especially in the Western Hemisphere, against people who are Fujoshis. Now, that's a whole topic for another day, and I don't feel the need to, you know, talk about it, but I just think that it's important to mention how dismissive this person is about somebody who is literally the co-director of the content that they enjoy. Which I'm even sorry to question, do they even enjoy the series because all they do is just be a hater? And I also think that it's very important to mention that Kyumeng is queer, is somebody who is in the LGBTQ community in a highly conservative country like South Korea. I'll even read this post out for you. In conservative Asia, she publicly declared herself queer and a lesbian artist. She's always supported her partner. The two of them worked together for seven years, but now all of her achievements have been erased. Known as Vivinos's Fujo girlfriend. Can't think of anything more ironic than this. As Korean speakers know, I want to let foreigners know once more, Vivinos is my partner. Yes, I am queer, she says. But yeah, Q Meng is not responsible for a community having a bias for one ship over another. It's not her fault just because she decided to put gay characters in an already queer series. And I just said like just her, but it's really not just her. Like Vivianos is also agreeing and communicating with her girlfriends who go over these topics and what they want to put in the story, what they don't want to put in the story. It's not like Kyumeng is controlling everything. Like let's be real. Both Vivianos and Kyumeng have worked on this. They do not have such conflicting interests to make it seem like Kyumeng forced this onto Vivianos. Well said. These characters are created with complexity and are cherished by two women in love. There is nothing to get mad at the creators about. This is strictly a fandom issue. And I think like in my opinion as an artist who writes their own characters and my characters do get into relationships, I'm not thinking about the fact that a character is freaking gay or not. I'm thinking about the story. Like y'all literally have lost the plot on Twitter because why do y'all care? so much about whether a character is gay or not rather than the actual story. Not just that, but blaming the creators for the fact that a fandom enjoys one shit more than the other. So um, there is more uh, stuff to talk about, uh, unfortunately. But um, it's very funny seeing these dented people talk on Twitter, so let's get it. The person who posted this is not dented, but it shows more proof of this person literally just hating on Kyumeng and Kyumeng's work. I think genuinely, like, this motherfucker just hates Kyumeng. <laughs> like, what the fuck? <laughs> Beta Yvonne was so much cuter. I wish Vivinos had kept her original vision and personality for him instead of basically letting Kyumeng completely change it. I was talking about this with Mina, but we probably would have liked him a lot more. Bro, shut up, bro. It's, it's so cringe when you actually think about it, when you actually read that shit out loud, because like, oh, no, no, no. Why'd you let yourself post that online? You need like a PR team to help you with that, because what? you're cooked. I'll read this one and then I'll get into the next one, but to let y'all Alien Stage fans know that this Mari hates Kumang so much, literally hating Vivinos' girlfriend just because she's into fictional MLM more. Y'all protecting your lesbian fictional ship while attacking a real lesbian person, which, oh my god, it's just like so ironic. Anyways, the quotes are all filled with smart people, so I'm gonna read this out. The way that you have literally downplayed everything that Kumang has created and you still try to act like you did this to fight misogyny in the fandom is so fucking stupid. And the thing about this is that I saw this person in their own comments literally saying, well, now I'm going to go into feminist spaces because nobody is listening to me. Like, nobody's listening to you because you have a freaking dent in your head and you can't understand what you're doing is wrong. I genuinely think that this comment is very, very accurate and really what I'm thinking about it as an artist and let me read it. All this Vivi Meng discourse has me so devastated. Both Vivinos and Q Meng love all of their characters and making 
up shit about their real life relationship just to uplift a fictional relationship is cruel. They don't deserve this. They have put so much care into Alien Stage. I'm disappointed. And the outcome is actually pretty sad because like I'm pretty sure Q-Man closed all of their posts, like deleted a bunch of posts and removed their affiliation to Alien Stage. And I'll read this out. This is what they want to see. All Q-Man's posts are gone. These so-called Yuri Stan incite hatred towards male characters and suggest q had a bad influence for Vivinos to add male characters and BL to Alien Stage project. All these are decided by Vivinos herself. I feel so sick. And I'm pretty sure that's everything and that's all I gotta say to sum it up. And this is like two videos in one day and I'm actually exhausted but it was worth it because oh my gosh I care too much about Alien Stage to just let this slide and not say anything about it. And this is not just for Alien Stage because it can happen in any community. If we let this slide here, this could happen to any creator. And many creators who are working on passion projects can get discouraged so much easier than people like Vivinos and Q-Meng. Because, you know, Vivinos and Q-Meng, they've been working for a long time. They've dealt with this sort of stuff for a while. But like, imagine if it was a smaller creator just working on their own artists, their own characters, and they don't have a team to defend them or to talk with them. And they're just like, you know what? Everybody hates me. I'm getting rid of everything. And it's just like it's such a sad, sad thought to think about if we just let stuff like this slide. So cheers to not normalizing this stuff. Subscribe, like the video. Thank you for watching all the way through. I appreciate it so much. And I have a Discord in the description of the video if you want to join and post your art. I only lurk in the art channel. I don't be doing any other shit. But thank you so much. Bye bye.